Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. So let's get started with today's show. Now, today I'm going to rant on another topic that I've talked about before, and that is self-published book covers. Oh, I, I tell you, that is just one of the things that it's maybe not so much in my Facebook authors group. Uh, which, of course, we'd love to have you join if you're a self-published author, uh, side note there. But these other bigger groups, uh, there is just this obsession with the self-published book cover, as if that is the pinnacle of your self-published project. And I'm going to say boldly that today, customers are less likely to judge a book by its cover. And now why do I say that? Well, first of all, less people are going to bookstores. Bookstores are closing. And people can buy on Amazon for good prices and convenience. And here's the thing, you know, they'll say, oh, well, you know, they need to see my cover on Amazon. They're going to be seeing a little teeny tiny version of your book cover. So when you see the big splash book cover that your designer creates, it's not going to have the same effect. And if it's highly detailed, when it's not about this size, it's not going to be very effective. So you have to remember too that you know, people aren't looking at books like they do in a bookstore when they're looking online. Chances are they are putting in a search term, especially if it's nonfiction. Um, but for fiction, they might be, you know, clicking on, I want romance novels or thrillers or, you know, what whatever the thing is, you know, they'll they'll type that in. And the algorithm will decide which books are shown together. So you can't even really you can't even really figure, well, my design needs to look like XYZ book because you don't know what other books will be coming up in search. So this is this is just a, a fool's game and it is very expensive. You know, even if you get um, a pretty decent design on the likes of uh, Fiverr or Upwork, uh, you still are probably going to be spending hundreds of dollars. And as we've talked about in other podcasts about um, self-publishing survey research that I've done, chances are you're not going to make very much in terms of dollars from that. So it may take you just, just, just for the cover alone, if it's hundreds of dollars, it may take you two, three years to recoup that investment. And that doesn't even include the inside formatting. So it could take years for you to make back an investment. And so as I've mentioned in other places, that's why I am truly you know, encouraging people to use free tools like Kindle Create to do the formatting and, and to some extent the cover creator. It's not going to be the most exciting thing in the world, but here's another reason why um, we're living in a different era of book marketing. And the book cover isn't that big of a deal. But you are. We are in the era of author branding. So people are going to go to the Amazons and other online booksellers knowing that they want your book. I look at three of the most recent books that I have chosen to read. 
The first one is from a person that I met on Instagram. I enjoy her posts, and she posted that she had a new ebook. I bought it, I read it, I reviewed it. Okay, on Instagram. Did I care what that cover looked like? No, I cared about that author. Now, the other two books, the other one I saw on um, a behavioral scientist blog uh, that is a, in a topic that I absolutely am intrigued by. And so I bought the book because I read about it on the blog. I didn't care what the cover looked like. I cared about how the blog talked about the book and its topic. So I bought that. Then the, the other one I saw on a Publishers Weekly email newsletter. And again, I didn't care about the cover. I cared about the topic. So those two things are, you know, the topic and author branding are becoming more and more important for our book marketing. It's not like people are going to the grocery store <laughs> or any, you know, like a Target or Walmart or something, and they're seeing all the books that are available and saying, oh, you know what? That one has the prettiest cover. Your cover is just packaging. <laughs> now, when you go to the grocery store, do you say, do you say, I am going to eat the thing that has the prettiest package. Now, I am not being someone who has been in advertising and marketing for my entire career. I'm not going to say it's not important. I'm just going to say it's not as important as people think. Because today, what do we do when we go to the grocery store? First of all, uh, you might be seeing it online. Um, and secondly, you know, you're going to read the labels. Today, we're label readers. And your readers are also label readers when they go to sites like Amazon. So the cover is just a, it's just packaging. And so I encourage you to not spend so much money that you, you won't recoup your investment. So please keep everything in perspective uh, when you're investing in your self-publishing -publish projects. Uh, so that, you know, it isn't a loss for you and then you'll get disappointed and, you know, be unhappy with your yourself and what you have done. So, you know, I hope you found that helpful and encouraging. And, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you would go over to Apple Podcasts and give The Heidi Thorne Show a nice rating and review. And while you're on Apple Podcasts, don't forget to subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show so that you don't miss an episode with insight in the self-publishing game. And if you're not on Apple, that's fine too. I'm on Stitcher and Podbean, and you can listen to me on your Alexa using the AnyPod skill. And if you like the video version better, um, I'm on YouTube. You just have to subscribe to the to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and the notifications so that you get um, notified of all the new videos that come out. Uh, my self-published books are on Amazon and you just have to search for my Heidi Thorne author page and all the official editions of my uh, books are available there and they're available in uh, print, ebook, and audiobook. And my audiobooks are available on Audible and Apple Books. Don't forget to share The Heidi Thorne Show or my books with your friends on social media. And if you want to connect with me, my website is very simply HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.